What's up guys? I've been doing a lot of videos on the iPhone 8 recently, but I wanted to make a small departure from that and focus on the iPhone 8's biggest upcoming challengers, the Google Pixel 2 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So let's go ahead and take a look at the most recent design leaks, rumors, just everything we know about these devices and sort of how they'll fit in with the iPhone 8. Now, starting with the Google Pixel 2, the design won't be changing as much as you thought. It'll be pretty in line with the current Google Pixel design, a squared display on the front. Now, these leaked images show this design in the flesh. And on the back, you can see that the camera did multiply by what, like five times? It got so much bigger than the current one, the actual lens for it. They reorganize things, but overall, it looks very familiar. You can recognize it as a pixel almost right away. It's got that upper glass portion and a fingerprint sensor below it this time, so not actually embedded in the glass. Very interesting, looks pretty similar uh, to the original. It's the front that I don't understand. Why would they not do a curved display on the Google Pixel? But then I did a little bit more research and there are rumors that the Google Pixel XL will have an organic LED display made by LG that'll span six inches. Then there are the other rumors that case manufacturers have released renders showing the Google Pixel XL 2 to be a completely different design from the standard Pixel. So honestly, what I think that Google might do is they may have a standard Pixel with a square display LCD. It's rumored to be 1080p, just a five inch display. And then the flagship will be the Pixel XL 2, which will have a six inch massive organic LED display with curved corners, that futuristic design that we saw in a lot of the earlier leaks for the Google Pixel XL 2. So I think that's definitely something they could do. The standard design will be boring, but the larger one will be more of the true competitor with the iPhone 8, as it seems like every manufacturer nowadays is doing something different with their displays, large bezel-less displays with curves on them. I mean, that's the trend nowadays, and Google doesn't want to miss out on that. So that's something that I definitely think they could do, and the result really is stunning just from this concept alone. The Google Pixel XL2 is also rumored to have a 1440p display, so that six inches will be much sharper as well, while the standard will keep its 1080p display. And confirmed by OnLeaks and several other sources, the Google Pixel 2 and XL version will not have a headphone jack. And it's kind of funny because Google as a company mocked the iPhone for removing it at first, and now they're following suit. Now, there are bonuses to doing that as well. You get more space on the inside of the phone, believe it or not, a headphone jack does take up a little amount of room. That room you can replace with a bigger battery, with improved waterproofing in Apple's case, also fit in more internals, more features, you know, just different stuff. And the Google Pixel 2 will have a stereo speaker setup. Well, what appears to be it's from a lot of the leaked images. They have two bar speakers on the front and bottom. So those bottom firing speakers will no longer be there, making it a more comfortable orientation when you you hold the phone in front of you, it'll just be firing at you, not to your hand that you're blocking the speaker with. And there's no word on waterproofing. One of the biggest complaints with the Pixel I've heard is that it doesn't have any sort of water resistance like most flagships do nowadays. And still, it might get it, but there's just no rumor or no word on that currently. And there's really no word on the camera. The original Pixel did fantastic. It was a great shooter. And this one looks to be much bigger in the leaked images. So there's no word on the capability of it or the megapixels, but I'm sure it'll improve upon the first in almost every single way and the release is likely to happen in October and as far as specs go the Google Pixel 2 will be pretty standard it was rumored to receive the Snapdragon 836 even which is a revision of the 835 in speed and cooling efficiency but that won't be happening it won't be on market soon enough for that to happen so it'll get the 835 likely four to six gigabytes of RAM but probably four and of course standard 64 gigabytes of storage and expandability of course really at this time that's mostly what we know about the Google Pixel 2. So next up, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Much like the Note 7 took a lot of inspiration from the Galaxy S7, the Note 8 will do the very same thing, although it will be a lot less rounded. So the press images, the actual leaked images of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 show that it will be a blockier design, less curve on the display, less edge like the Samsung Galaxy uh, S8 and S8 Plus right now. It'll be more of a blockier design, which a lot of people do like. Nobody needs that curve specifically. Of course, it will have the S Pen, which doesn't really look much different from the old version, but overall the design is mostly the same until you get to the back. There it has a very interesting dual camera setup. It's just a big black bar, which I guess works. It blends everything into one panel on the rear, but looks very robot-esque. The display itself will be a 6.3 inch
inch display at 2960 by 1440 resolution. So we don't know what improvements there may be there, but it's usually the flagship for Samsung. So they're gonna maybe incorporate some improvements there that we don't really know anything about. Now, of course, one of the biggest benefits of the Galaxy Note 8 is going to be the rear dual lens camera. It's supposed to have two major advantages over the old Note 7 or a single camera setup on the S8. So currently one of them is optical zoom. It's rumored to get a three times optical zoom, which puts it at an advantage over the iPhone 7 Plus at one times more zoom than the 7 Plus. So that'll be one advantage. Also, there's supposed to be a super night shot. So with a dual lens camera setup, you can get much more clarity in the dark by mixing two images into one instead of just using a singular camera, which is great. So those are some great advantages coming to the camera. I'm sure there will be more, but those are just the rumored ones right now. Now with the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, this is going to be the first device from Samsung to fully embrace a pressure sensitive display. So much like the Galaxy S8, which has it on the bottom for the button itself, it's going to be the the full display and you're going to be able to get more actions using this of course just like 3d touch on the iphone for whatever reason android really hasn't embraced 3d touch even though it offers a lot of possibilities a lot of convenience this will be the actual first phone from samsung to fully embrace this feature which i think is awesome i mean i don't mind that they're going to copy it from apple it means you can get a much better experience in your phone now unfortunately one of the biggest most hyped features of the galaxy note 8 is not going to be happening and that's an embedded fingerprint sensor underneath the display. It was just too much of an issue getting the color on the display right, a manufacturing process including it to get it into the Galaxy Note 8 this year. So the first device that's going to be getting that feature is the Note 9 according to Ming-Chi Ko. Not even the Samsung Galaxy S9 will be getting it early next year. Now we'll be getting waterproofing as well, IP68, just like the Galaxy S8, and the overall specs will be very, very similar. You'll have the Snapdragon 835 processor, six gigabytes of RAM, and 64 gigabytes of storage, with with an SD card slot as well. There's also rumored to be an Emperor version, which we in America won't be getting, but in Korea, it's going to get you eight gigabytes of RAM on the Note 8 and also 256 gigabytes of storage. The actual Note 8 wallpapers leaked ahead of launch. So if you wanna grab those, you can today. And the actual launch is pegged for August 23rd, officially announced by Samsung already with the pre-orders likely to start on the 25th. And we're gonna be seeing that to late September to early October in hand, according to the leaks. And the price is said to be about about $900. So it won't be quite as expensive as the iPhone 8, which will put it at an advantage over it. But then again, Samsung has never really been about overpricing their products. Even though the S8 did jump up in price by $100, it was because of the more advanced manufacturing process. And the Note 8 won't be too expensive. It's said to be right under $1,000, so not quite as expensive as the iPhone 8. But there it is, guys. That is the latest on the Galaxy Note 8 and the Google Pixel 2. I'm honestly very excited to see these products how they're going to compare. It's always good to have good competition in phones. It pushes manufacturers to do more. So I'm very excited to see the possibility of what these devices can accomplish. Thanks for watching, guys. That's the latest on the iPhone 8's biggest competitors in the next month or two. Peace.